Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at three very popular lights from a very popular light company. And that is Streamlight. We're gonna be taking a look at the MicroStream USB. We're going to be taking a look at the MacroStream USB and the ProTac HLX. And these are three wildly popular flashlights for uh, daily carry. We're gonna compare them, we're gonna pro and con them, and see which one may fit best for your needs. Now, while I am a massive proponent of putting lights on any firearm, you may con conceivably think that you would use for any sort of defense. Uh, the, it is always a good idea to also have pocket carry flashlights. Now, as it pertains to pocket carry flashlights, uh, size is a massive deal. You're not gonna put a 3D cell mag light in your pocket. So size is a big deal, but output and performance is equally as important. And it's, you need to really find that balance to find the right light for you. Now, what are we gonna use a pocket carry flashlight for. Pocket carry flashlights are gonna be used for everyday things like looking for your keys, looking under the couch for the pen that you lost, uh, maybe walking the dog, going out and getting the mail, and even in self-defense. So lights, as it pertains to self-defense, is not a secret, and uh, they are very, very useful. And not only can they keep you from having to use your firearm, but if you do have to use your firearm, they are an irreplaceable force multiplier. Now in self-defense, a light of any sort, whether it's handheld or weapon mounted, a light, uh, a good, strong, high intensity light invokes a predictable response if you shine it in the face or the eyes of a bad guy. The pain receptors in the, in the eyes tell the brain to go, oh, get it out of my face, I don't wanna see it anymore. And that is the predictable response that you get out of a high output, good quality light whether it's handheld or weapon mounted. So let's get into the specifications real quick of these three lights, get into some testing of the three lights and see which one may or may not fit best for you. So up first we have the Streamlight MicroStream USB. Now it is important that I mention that this is the USB rechargeable model that also has a battery inside of it, um, a removable battery inside of it because the non the non rechargeable model that just takes a AAA battery is a significantly lower output light um, so this one being the better of the two i've been carrying this particular light for several months and i have another streamlight micro stream that i've carried for a number of years maybe three years these are very small very lightweight very easy to use you don't notice that they're you don't notice at all that they're in your pocket they have the s shaped uh, pocket clip to where not only does it work well as a pocket clip but it also works well as a hat clip to put it on the brim of your hat to for a, uh, a, a light when you're working on something all you do is pull this open and you have the micro USB port right there and everything is sealed up with o-rings very nicely the body is all aluminum it has 250 lumens uh, with a it has 250 lumens with a one and a half hour runtime on that high lumen setting it is a high and low setting there is no 10 tap programmability like there is with other higher end stream lights uh, 250 lumens with a 68 meter beam and a max output of 1150 candela for you for those of you who don't know what candela is it's in my opinion and many other professional opinions out there that candela is the defining factor of what a good quality high output light is versus something of lesser quality or yet lesser usefulness now this little guy comes in at a modest $30. And in a time where you can get hundreds of dollars into a light, this is a very nice little compact, hence the name MicroStream, a nice little compact package. After that, we have the Streamlight MacroStream. Now the MacroStream being slightly larger than the MicroStream has 
much of the same characteristics, all aluminum body, the, S -clay, the, the hat clip uh, uh, clip. It has a nice soft touch, nice soft touch uh, uh, bulb style tail cap, which I forgot to mention on the MicroStream has the same thing. It also pull out and it has the micro USB charger there with a removable battery. Has 500 lumen output on high, two hour runtime on high, 90 meter beam distance, and 2000 candela. Now the last one we're gonna look at is the Streamlight Protac HLX. Uh, this can be used with either a single battery that comes with it, which is a rechargeable 1860, 18650 style battery, um, or two CR123As. It does come with its own clip, much like those other, I, although I have the Theorem switchback on it right now. The pocket clip for it is very, very usable has the hat clip, has the, the reverse clip design, and is an all steel clip. It's just, again, not on it right now. Uh, this comes in at a thousand max lumens, hour and a half runtime with a 330 meter beam and 27,100 candela. Um, this is widely considered by many people uh, because they also make this as a rifle version as to be one of the best dollar for output or dollar for quality lights on the market as far as not just pocket carry but in weapon mounted long or rifle mounted lights and even with this guy here and all the features you get with it this has the 10 tap programming which means you tap the button 10 times and you can program in and out the high mode the low mode and the strobe mode depending on what like a first press second press type thing um, it is, again, 1,000 lumens, 27,000 th 27, candela with a 330 meter beam coming at, at under $100 at right around the $80 mark. And it, they all, of course, come with their own batteries and their own charging cords. So when you think pocket carry, you, of course, think pockets. Like, how is it gonna fit in my pocket? And these three, of course, and obviously, being significantly different sizes. Now, all three can be easily pocket carried. The Streamlight Protac being one that is considerably more noticeable in the pocket than the micro or macro stream and micro stream. Now I do notice when I carry these two, there's not a significant difference in how they feel in my pocket. Maybe if I were to lay on the ground on my side looking under, underneath my vehicle, I would more notice the difference. But as far as just putting it in my pocket and walking with it and doing daily activities, I don't notice the difference between these two. Now with that being said, the Streamlight micro stream is the only one of the three that you can really pocket carry up here if you have uh, uh, like a dicky style work shirt or something along those lines it'll go right in the pocket look like a pen sticking out so in that aspect uh, for carry and multiple styles of you know in multiple different kinds of clothing the micro stream definitely has that minor edge now i mentioned earlier about candela uh, when it comes to an edc light that you just want to use for lighting up again like your living room you're going to use it for mundane tasks in lower light or dark things like again looking for the mail going out into your front yard for whatever reason uh, looking for something underneath the couch you dropped your keys and they're in a car. Speaking of your car, maybe you're looking for something in the car. Uh, for these sort of mundane daily tasks, lumens are great. But as, a, as it pertains to being a defensive light, lumens are cute, but candela is where it's at. A lot of people chase lumens, and I can't necessarily blame those people. Uh, not because they don't necessarily know what they're talking about, but because there's such a marketing campaign, especially on budget, uh, low-end Chinese lights, where they talk about these massive lumen numbers that they usually can't reach, uh, and how that's the defining factor of a light. When in fact, candela, especially as far as distance that you can see with a light, and the usefulness of defense, candela is absolutely where it's at. And that candela is that intensity, is that intensity in one spot that helps to uh, invoke that response of 
get it out of my face. I don't want to see it anymore. It hurts to look at it. I'm yeah. going to. I'm no longer going to try to attack you. Or that I see. I see something or hear something way over there, and you're going to have a a low low candela light that is going to flood an area with light because of its high lumens. It's going to flood an area with a light, but you can't see the distance. It's not going to penetrate across light barriers, across photonic barriers. And at the end of the day, that person or that sound you heard at distance, you're not gonna be able to see without that high intensity candela. So let's look at how these three performed. Streamlight MicroStream, that's low. Cycled into high. Streamlight macro stream comes on high. That's the low setting. High. Streamlight ProTac. The ProTac HLX. And I've 10 tapped it into high only. Streamlight micro stream into the high mode. You can't really see the driver. I don't know how well it's coming across on film, but I can barely see the driver. I wouldn't be able to make out any detail. Streamlight macro stream. I can see the driver significantly better with quite a bit more detail and Streamlight ProTac HLX. I can definitely see the driver. I can make out very good detail. I can make out detail of everything that's in the truck and uh, it cuts through the light very, very well. Now the light coming in from the side, Streamlight MicroStream does a pretty good job of lighting up the target. You can already see the target a little bit but you really can't make it out. If that was dark, somebody in dark clothing, you definitely could not see them. But that's the low setting. That's the high setting of the micro stream. Macro stream, definitely can see them much better, even on the low setting. And ProTac HLX. Definitely a nice bright hot spot. This would be very painful to the assailant's eyes and cuts through the side light from the truck with ease. This is the Streamlight Micro Stream on its high setting. I'm at 10 yards away, 10-ish <clears throat> yards away, 10 or 12 yards. Um, it's bright, but not painfully bright. Uh, I can actually see the viewfinder of the camera uh, which is only a couple inches, two or three inches wide. And of course the background's dark, so the, the uh, viewfinder is dark. I cannot see beyond it, but it is not bright enough that it is invoking the typical response of bright lights to do this and look away, uh, that predictable response where you get with high candela and high lumen lights. Now I'm back out here. Um, I can still see the viewfinder, uh, but not as well. The viewfinder, by the way, the viewfinder and the light are right next to each other uh, in this test. I'm, too, I'm getting to the point of painful, getting to the point of I don't want to look at it anymore. I want to look away. It's making me squint. Uh, and it definitely has a blinding effect. The ProTac, um, this sucks. The high candela uh, really makes it so I don't want to look that direction at all. And uh, I cannot see the viewfinder. I can't, it's just a wall of light coming at you, uh, coming at me. And uh, it's, it's actually quite painful to look at. And uh, if I were to get hit in the face with this by somebody, uh, you would definitely get the predictable response of closing the eyes and, and trying to just trying to get out of this situation. 
it's it's very very bright now in contrast this is the tlr1 hl that is the pistol light uh thousand lumens and it's not quite i mean i still don't want to look at it i can't see the camera i can't see the viewfinder i can't see anything beyond it just like uh, everything else although I can see some of the foreground which means that the blinding effect of this is not quite that of the ProTac HLX uh, I can like with the ProTac I really I, I, I really just felt the need to put the brim of my hat down I didn't want to look at it at all I can sort of look in this direction make out some of the foreground here uh, but it is still yet very painful to look directly into it it's not quite the wall of light that the protec hlx is so i am back out to that 10 or 12 yards this in contrast is my cell phone light uh, many people online many people in, in in i see in social media groups and things like that uh, say well i have a flashlight on my cell phone and uh I'm here to tell you that that's not good enough. I can see everything. There is no pain involved. There's, uh, it, it may as well be a star in the sky. I can see the trees behind my truck. I can see the side of my truck. I can make out the shape of my truck. I can see the canopy behind my truck, the table under the canopy, the uh, chair under the canopy. I can make out my tripod for the most part. Um, the viewfinder, the little blue light on the lapel mic. Let me start walking in. Start walking in and I can start seeing me right now on the viewfinder. Uh, obviously you're not making out, making me out in great detail, but I am about five yards, maybe less away. Let me get closer to the point where now you can start seeing me in detail. I am far too close to you for you to rely on that light. It is still not painful and I'm within reaching distance of you. So we're here at 10 yards, we're gonna do some shooting. I'm gonna use the TLR1 as control. I can see my factory night sights on the 19X right here. If you can see those. And obviously the target is lit up very well and I'm able to make out enough definition to fire some shots. Now the Streamlight micro stream, that is the low setting. I think I, I have a hard time, I'm having a bit of a hard time making out detail in the target. Uh, but I can see the target. So low, high, definitely on high. I can make out enough detail. Streamlight macro stream, definitely can see enough detail to justify uh, pulling the trigger if need be. And the Streamlight ProTac HLX. Obviously this thing is an animal, has will give you the predictable pain response and you can make out plenty of detail uh, with the light. So which light's be best for you? The micro stream being the smallest but lowest output but has the most deepest and easily uh, carried model or the macro stream which is still very very much easily carried uh, has tons of good qualities just like any other Streamlight does uh, and has a higher output and I think the output with this is more noticeable in the immediate area than it is in the longer distance areas. Uh, I think for a task light for something that you're going to use for work uh, this tends to get a little uh, I think this tends to lack a little bit. I think this tends to be a significantly better light. However, it is a little bigger in the pocket. So if you're crawling around on the floor, it may or may not be too much for you. And then of course, 
the Protac HLX, which is about the biggest light I could ever conceivably carry in a side pocket. Um, if you're wearing something like a light pouch that looks like a mag pouch on your belt, then that's a t totally different story. Um, but the Streamlight Protac, of the three being my favorite light all around, is not the easily, most easily carried, but it is going to be, without a doubt, the most effective as a self-defense handheld light. And to me, that's a very important factor. I'm not here to try to sell you these lights. Streamlight doesn't even know who I am, um, but they are, without a doubt, in my opinion, one of the best light companies out there. So you can't go wrong with either three of these. However, this one being a little bright for task use, as far as like immediate right here in front of you, putting a light on, especially when it's dark, um, like very dark, it, uh, it tends to be very, very bright up close. Uh, this being a great task light for immediately in front of you, but lacking in self-defense capabilities. And this being a fairly happy medium of both, although I think a better task light than a self-defense light like this one is. Thank you for watching everybody. Don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, leave that comment down below. If you wanna see more videos from me, hit that notification bell and uh, come back, support the channel. I do appreciate all the support. If you want to support the channel in other ways, there's Ko-Fi, which is a Patreon slash uh, Subscribestar alternative. It helps to drive the channel and for me to be able to do more videos and bring you more content, especially behind the scenes, previews and things like that, extra content over there at Ko-Fi. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll talk to you later.